tembak Tutelzelsinia Today As our eminent tactician figured out how the enemy plans to, to cross Fezabel Marsh I'm afraid not During the Renom season the marsh flow weakens enough to make a crossing possible But spirit climb changes have been thrown off kilter The marsh flow should remain active What's this marsh flow? The marsh's many bodies of water are linked together, with their water flowing through underground channels. If you were to fall into one, you'd get carried off to who knows where. Oh, that wouldn't be a problem. I'm a great swimmer. The maze of channels is quite complicated. It could be ten years before you're finally pulled to the surface. Yikes. Don't know if I can hold my breath for that long. And yet the enemy intends to cross it with a full army. That leads me to one conclusion. That Arjul has a tactician even greater than the Conductor himself? Yes. Oh. Oh.
Now this is some pretty nice gear. You really are cutting an impressive figure. No one wants some old geezer channeling spirit. Right Here we go! I understand that humans haven't engaged in large-scale warfare since the Battle of Fezabel 20 years ago. For someone who doesn't meddle in human business, you sure seem to know a lot about our history. I read a book about recent human history while I was convalescing in Laurent. You read it in a book? Guess Jude's not the only honor student. The book confirmed my theory. Huh. Humans haven't changed one bit since ancient times. And I suppose your impression of ancient times also comes from a book. Did you say something? Hmm? Oh, I just said that uh, as long as humans never change, we mercenaries will never go hungry. Looks like ominous clouds are gathering up. Thank you. 
Bones tell me it will be a heavy rain indeed. Thousands of soldiers on either side. It looks to be a massive one.
Identify yourselves. State your names, ranks, and divisions. I am Rowan Ilbert, Chief of Staff, Rashagal Army. The Ilbert? As in the Conductor? Correct. I wish to be briefed at once regarding our troop strength and deployment. Yes, sir. Please proceed. This table creates a tactical diagram of the battle by reading signals from the soldiers' lilium orbs. Hey, how come this one looks different? That division is taking part in a special operation, being led by the Deputy Chief of Staff himself. Agria of the Chimeriad attempted to block them, but it appears they broke through. Gillen's operation? Yes. He should arrive at the operation site a little after 1300 hours. We've been given no details, although we hear this operation will turn the tide of battle in one fell swoop. We've been ordered to concentrate as many troops as possible around that site when the operation commences. Hmm. With this route, his destination must be here, correct? Yes, sir. Precisely. I should have expected nothing less from the conductor. I do not like where this is heading. Yes. No doubt he has plans to use the Lance of Kresnik. Yet why did he leave his own army in the dark? You think we can catch up to them before they use the Lance? I don't know. I hope so. I stole the key required to activate the Lance. I entrusted it to Ivor. We figured that would be enough to stop anyone from using it. Nevertheless, it has been deployed, and they are likely readying it for use. That can only mean one thing. They may have created a new key. How is the Azure army marching across the marshes? I don't believe Renom ever arrived. Are you familiar with the boosters that Azure has developed? I hate being objectified! The enemy is using them to amplify their mana output and alter the spirit climb in their immediate area. In other words, they use mana to summon vast amounts of Earth spirits and force the spirit climb into Renom. They've actually changed the seasons. A brilliant strategy. One only Wingle could have conceived. How has Rashigal responded? We too have boosters. So you issued one to every soldier, and assigned one man in every squad with the job of altering the spirit climb. Yes, sir. Exactly as you said. That sounds like a job for us, Elise! No, this is Rowan's turf. He's an expert in the use of Earth Arts. Uh. We have no uh. time. We must intercept Gillen's division. Might I borrow one of your spare boosters? Chief Hilbert, there's one thing I should mention about the boosters. We keep hearing rumors that their use leads to a serious side effect. Which is? They say prolonged use saps your strength. You mean it leeches away your very life? The severity of this effect seems to vary wildly among those afflicted. Just to be safe, I suggest you avoid using the booster for long periods. So... He leads... He's gonna die. Sure you want to be standing out there in the rain? Wait, 
What? But I swear I heard you from over here. Say what? You hit your head or something? Making up lies again? Jeez, Elise, give me a break. I'll give you a break, all right? You big fat liar! You ready to string me up too? <laughs> Come now. Given the circumstances, it's only natural for us to become suspicious when you wander off on your own. Just stick close to us from now on. Seriously, promise us! Fine, fine. Tipo, I know you're concerned, but... Look at this giant plant! Wow! It... mud on me! Uh, sorry about that. Everyone, stay close to me. Hard to see anything. The enemy could be anywhere. Maybe we should try to find a safer route. No, we don't have time for that. We just need to charge straight through. Hold on! This sounds like suicide! Well, we'll be okay. Nah. Jude says so. Huh. Don't be afraid. We have nothing to fear but failure. The fate of humanity and spirit kind hangs in the balance. Nice! I'll have to write that one down. Let's go, everyone. We will destroy the Lance of Kresnik. Mm. Don't stop for anything else. Watch out! Huh? What are you doing? We're on your side! Save it! We've received orders directly from Deputy Chief of Staff Dillon! Conductor Elbert has defected to the enemy and must be stopped by any means necessary, including lethal force! What? We won't let you destroy the cornerstone of Rajagal's strategy! <sighs> Why did it have to come to this? Dillon obviously wants us dead. It is not particularly surprising given his past track record. You know how it is. When you want something bad, the end really justifies the means. Although, I'm starting to believe victory is not his ultimate goal. I have a bad feeling about all this. Yeah, let's hurry on. Let's make this quick. I'm right here with you, Mila. How can you keep putting your life in danger like this? Don't you realize you'll throw everyone's lives into chaos if you end up dying? What's that? Nothing. Better stay focused on the battle. I'll take them down, no matter what. Hey, you're pushing yourself too hard. Fall back and rest. I'm okay. Alvin's right. We still have a ways to go. I told you, I'm fine. Let's just focus on our task, please. All right. I'm glad you're on our side, Jude. I'm counting on you. I have your back. Don't worry. I can do this. What? Attack! That's one! Stay here! Okay? <laughs> 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 When will this end? We're so damn close. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Come on. 
This isn't enough to take me down. Alvin, are you sure you're all right? Would I lie at a time like this? Well, I don't know. That part of me is gone. I'm sure that's a lie. Gotta be serious sometimes. <sighs> hey, come on, guys. Less talking, more fighting. Yeah. Uh, uh, strength. I'm ready, Jonah. Uh, we're so close. Are you all right, dude? So this is war. It's nothing but a scythe that cuts down the dreams and lives of our youth. I take no pleasure knowing most of my years were on the battlefield. And despite my efforts, such travesty continues. Rowan, you can't give up. You'll find a way to stop all of this. You're right, of course. Our destination is just up ahead. Let us make haste. Please, uh -huh. I'm here! Uh -huh. Damn it! Just leave us alone already. Huh. If only battles could be ended by simply asking. We can always wish. Attack! You! <sighs> this is so rough. Don't worry. I got your back, Elise. No, no one asked for your help. <laughs> you should be all right with that much energy. Oh, but hey, thanks, all. Out of my way! Leia, don't cross forward lest you'll be completely surrounded. Things are not looking good, Mila. I know, but we can't retreat. We must keep pushing onward. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Good. You hear that? None of us will give up. Can you still keep up? Of course. Yeah, bro. That wasn't too bad. All right. Excellent. That's all. Just keeps. The key to Rashagal's strategy is the hill that overlooks the basin where the two armies are fighting. You believe they will set the Lance of Kresnik there? It seems likely. From there they can snare the entire enemy army while they're all gathered together. If the Lance of Kresnik truly is a mana-powered weapon, it would be a very advantageous location. But to think Deputy Chief of Staff Gillen could pick out that spot so accurately is quite a surprise. Such a man must not be taken lightly. I had always thought him a talentless lickspittle, who won his position by flattering Noctagall. But it may be time to reassess that opinion. Mud stains all over my best coat. Now I'm gonna have to get this cleaned. We have to fight hard for everyone's sake. We can do it! Are you feeling well? No, we okay. huh? Why do you ask? At your age, you should be worrying about yourself. Oh, it's nothing important. But if your health changes, please tell me right away. What he probably means is, if you gotta pee, do it before the war breaks out. I... I'm fine. Mind your own bladder. Well, certainly no sign of side effects yet. Doing? Doesn't look like it. It's the Chimeriad. More troops? They'll make us late for our rendezvous with Agria. 
Doesn't bother me. Let us at him, Wingo. Pretty please. That man in the back in the red armor. He's the king of this particular chessboard. Understood. There are only three of them. Take them out! Hmm. <laughs> he leads from the rear. And off he goes, rushing in again. Not that I mind. You're out of your debt. Get the woman! Stop her! <laughs> nice to get the blood boiling for a change. Checkmate. Although this king was no better than his pawns. So you've come, Maxwell. It appears we must face each other on the battlefield after all. What a sad end to this tale. Thanks for wasting our time with that search in the mountains. My pleasure. Have you taken out Gilland? I don't have to answer that. Then let's change the subject. Step aside so we can pass. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll we will over. destroy the lance. With it gone, a sure victory is a sure. Why keep us from our task? It is the will of His Highness. This battle is merely a stepping stone toward our true goal. But it is an unnecessary step. One that could cost your lives. Who would be left to support the king? His Highness can look after himself. Unlike some people, he would never fight feebly from the rear. And what is that supposed to mean? Don't play dumb, Chief Ilbert. You were meant to lead, not hide. It was your duty to fight, not carry the rear. Noctigal became a tyrant because of your inaction. Your only recourse was to stain your hands with his blood. Word spreads nah, fast. Bro. That wasn't Rowan's fault. Noctigal was responsible for his own actions. Do not pass the blame. Individual fault is a petty thing when weighed nah, against the bro. good of a nation. What do you mean? The people need a leader to guide them. Otherwise they will go astray. Rowan is fully capable of handling that. It is not that simple. I am just a military strategist. I'm unworthy of the throne. But our king is. And he has seen the path he must take to lead the people. What the lance lies on that path. We will take it and oh, add it to his power. Sure. Don't make me say it again. We won't hand over the lance of Kresnik, no matter what your reasons are. And I won't let you interfere with Mila's... with Maxwell's mission. Oh, uh... No good on Thunder! So be it. Everyone, stay sharp. Yeah! No fear. Stand down. It's too dangerous. No, I won't! Don't blame us if you die. Now that's not very nice. Like you're one to talk. It doesn't matter who stands in our way. Prepare yourself! <laughs> <laughs> 
that far to serve Gaius. Sorry. I'm not interested in any last words. Alvin! The battle's over! Fine. I'll let her go, if you insist. <laughs> this is really how you live your life, huh? I'd watch your back around him. He's just playing with you now. And someday, he'll throw you away. I'd like to think Alvin knows how I feel. I have to know. Why do you seem to care so much about me? Speak up, big guy! <sighs> Why won't you tell me? Hey, it's okay. The Lance of Kresnik is just ahead. I know you all have a lot on your minds. But I must push onward. the Chimeriad. I cannot say I'm surprised you came to the battlefield yourself. Of course. It is my path. Answer me. Why do you want the Lance of Kresnik? With it, I will protect the people of this world. I shall gather all such sources of power and place them under my safe control. There is a fine line between protection and domination. The Lance will become the bane of the very people you seek to protect. This path of yours will lead to ruin. Preposterous. 
I will never falter, as long as I have this will to guide the weak. Yet, you have overlooked one crucial fact. And that is? Despite your power and that will of yours, someday you will die. Then what? Can you guarantee that whomever inherits the Lance will share your vision and your will? <coughs> Eventually, those who follow will succumb to the Lance's unfathomable power. They will destroy your legacy and themselves. It's just human nature. Your history proves this. Then I will chart a new path for history. In the end, you too show yourself to be human. <laughs> of course. And it's because I'm human that I yearn for a united Riza Maxia. But I suppose you see it as only greed and ambition. Gaius, for the last time, I will not give you the lance. Will you stand down? Never. Oh, I thought you might understand. But regardless, the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. Yes, for the sake of future generations. We need to end this here and now. Yes, we can't stop now. We'll stand by Mila. I think you know what happens next. We will prevail. Show me your resolve. Right on point! In the name of the Great Spirit, I shall defeat you. You underestimate me. And yet, you think you can handle us alone? I think you're underestimating us. You're all getting ahead of yourselves. Witness what humans are truly capable of. You don't scare us! Incinerate your way! than I expected. Nevertheless, the Lance of Kresnik shall be mine! Ah, uh, bro. Uh-oh. I don't like the look of that. Damn it. Where is he? 
Farewell. Who dares? Huh. Ivor to the rescue! Ivor? Why are you here? Lady Mila, once your powers are restored, you'll be able to give that pretender a serious smiting! What are you doing? <laughs> Pay attention, Jude! I'll show you what separates the handmaids from the boys! <laughs> Did there, phony? It's called saving the day! Look it up! Now the power of the four great spirits shall be revived! was mistaken all along. And that means that the lance was never a weapon at all. That's Gilland? Damn it. You son of a... Were you the one who attacked Hamil? Yes. That was the handiwork of my spirit Celsius. The spirit Celsius? I've never even heard the name before. You dared lay hands on my people. For that, you will pay! Exodus? 
Yes, I am. That's the woman, right over there. What? Exodus? Were you the one who told Nautical about Spyrex? <laughs> Don't kill that woman. It would ruin everything. Mobile armored units, forward! Yes, sir! Paying attention. Stand pretty and stay out of this. Miss Elise! Bring the brat along, too. A fine specimen of booster compatibility. Take your hands off of her! Oh. Why are you doing this? Go to sleep. You'll just complicate things. Gaius! We will settle our score later. Maxwell is the one they're after. Take her and flee! What do you think you're doing? I told you to go! But we can't just leave Elise! Rowan, Leia, take care of Mila. You all go on ahead. Your Highness! Come now, child. Open your eyes. Confession to make, and an apology. It is about your parents. The bandit who killed them. It was me. Afraid I will no longer be able to protect you. Forgive me, child, and live on. <gasps> Joe, why not? I want you to protect Elise for me.
thank you for your faithful service. Look after everyone. For one last rampage! He's out cold. Where's the fun in torturing someone if they don't react, you dolt? Agria. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Is Maxwell here? No. It looks like he's alone. They've already made it this far. Oh, we don't need this aggravation. Hide yourselves. Do you see, Maxwell? She just looked like an ordinary human being. I can't believe that she could have created the schism. The schism? Come to me if he survives, and when he does, he will serve me. No, I don't want. <laughs> 